Hey everybody, I'm so glad that you're doing small group. Remember, this life was never meant to be done alone. So the fact that you're around this screen or this table, wherever you are, is really, really a great step for you in your own faith journey. I want to start by going out on a limb and making this assumption that whether or not you are a Christian, uh, there's this part of you that feels like this journey, this faith, is a little constricting. There's a lot of do's and don'ts, right? Do read your Bible, do pray, don't fill in the blank. There seems like an endless amount of things on that list, right? Uh, so sometimes we can feel like this is keeping us from a life that we might be able to live otherwise. The life that our friends live at work or the life that our friends in our neighborhood live or other families live that we rub shoulders with, right? Like, what if we didn't have this set of expectations sitting over the top of us? And if you aren't a Christian, that's probably where you spend most of your thought life when it comes to the Christian faith. It's a bunch of rules, a bunch of regulations, a bunch of directions that are put on me that I then have to live by. And so we all come to this place where we feel like we've taken a step back from the life that we would really want to live. But the more I read scripture and the more I get to know God, I've come to this conclusion. It is the exact opposite. The rules that God puts on us, the expectations, uh, what we would measure sin up against, isn't so much about removing some measure of life from you. It's about adding life. It's about getting you to the place that you ultimately want to be. On Sunday, we talked about the idea of a locker or a lock with a combination. And sometimes we think that that combination is all about keeping people out. But if you know the combination and you live according to that combination, it gets you in. It gets you where you want to be. And I think that's a lot of what God intended when it came to this kind of code of ethics that we believe in as Christians. It's not meant to keep us from a life. It's meant to get us into a life that's the best life. Remember what God said in Isaiah that he teaches us for our own good. He shows us the path that ultimately leads to the best life for us, a life that leads to peace and righteousness and a sense of legacy and that we matter beyond these few years that we live on the planet, right? That that's what God is leading us toward. And so that path, like any path, has direction. And it has boundaries and there are clear moments where you realize I'm either on the path or I'm not on the path. And if you get too far off the path, you get lost and you're stuck. Uh, or if you don't know the combination and you don't do it just right, you're locked in you're, or locked out, however you want to look at that. So what if we change the way we look at Christianity and the parts of it that put expectations on us? And instead of it being captivity, it's release. Remember, Jesus said, I came to free the captives, not put people in captivity. So Jesus came and gave us life to the fullest, to the best life. It's almost a return back to what it was all supposed to be at the very beginning, a tight relationship with God that has less worry and less stress and less striving and just is this full and complete life. What if we started looking at it that way? Well, we might not live the Christian life begrudgingly anymore. It might become this opportunity, this chance, where even though the one step we're in may not be fun, it's still the best one because it takes us closer to the life that we ultimately want to be living. So my hope is that in the next few minutes as you discuss this, your mindset and your attitude and your heart towards the things that God says he doesn't want you to do would be less about he's trying to keep me from having fun and he's trying to propel me toward the life that I ultimately, in my deepest heart of hearts, really want. I hope you have a great discussion. We'll see you next time.